of fun here with Nick Cannon. So Nick. Yes, Miss Wendy. <laughs> are you and Mariah still sleeping together? In my mind, I believe you are, and there'd be nothing wrong with that. There would be nothing wrong with that, but that's not the case. You always look so, like I have a picture, I don't know whether we can drum it up, um, with them laying on the bed, reading the bedtime story. We just showed it the other day on Hot Topics. I was asleep. Yeah, but when, but listen, after midnight. <laughs> once the kids are in bed. Once the kids are in the bed. And the wine is flowing, you know she likes to have a drink. <laughs> and whatever you do. <laughs> and look, she's in a negligee. Gorgeous, amazing. She never calls you, hey Nikki. And then you come in and she lets it drop. <laughs> come on, it's nice to go back to a comfortable place. It is, and there's nothing but unconditional love there. I mean, she's gorgeous, but you know, I'm, I'm respectful. I put the kids in bed and I go home. I, um, I don't believe you. Why not? I, I just don't. Listen, I, I'm rooting for you guys to get back together in five years. And I said that on Hot Cup. I'm gonna give you five years. I'm gonna tell you why. Five tell me, years. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm giving him five years, and I already told you this. Okay. Because you, after going to your set and okay. seeing all those gorgeous women, right? You know, just throwing themselves around. You could have any pick of the litter. And I know that you're picking and littering. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I see you around town and stuff. And you need five years to just like get out there and do it, and then come on back home to mama. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what about her? I mean, she's, she's... She needs time also, yeah. but you've already broken up two of her relationships that I you know. I broke them up? Oh, heck, you're, cause you're always around. When she was with the billionaire, you broke them up. Along with, along with, in my mind. I, was, I wanted to be with the billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do more yachts for everybody. <laughs> Um, along with the diva antics, though, I do think that you run a lot of interference. I don't believe that that was a real relationship with the background dancer, Brian Tanaka. I don't know. I, really, but, I don't get involved in that. I'm just there to support my children, that's all. But right. you're always around. For my children. And I, whatever she wants to do in her personal life, I support, I, I salute, I just want her to be happy. Well, then why did you divorce? You want the real? Yes. yes. Real. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to it. I'm gonna meet, so, and maybe you'll agree with me. I feel like when two people are in a relationship, mm -hmm. it should be about growth, right? You should be, it should be a situation where everyone's becoming a better human being yes. in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So when you get to a point where there's no longer any growth and you're not bettering each other, and especially as you're building a household to become one, because that's what marriage is all about, I felt like, it was probably best, especially for our children, since they're the number one priority, to be able, if I could be the best human being and the best father from outside of that house, that's why I have to. Got it. By the way. It was all my fault, I did it. No, that, that's, you're a man, Moki. <laughs> yeah, you are. So how did Mariah react when you had uh, the baby with uh, um, the young lady? <laughs> And by uh, the way, congratulations on baby Thank you Golden. very much, thank you. Mm -hmm. That was Easter. Ha you got the little suit on like yeah, his daddy. You, we know, you did your rounds, because we saw you with- I was busy, I was busier <laughs> than the Easter buddy, <laughs> boy. We I saw was... you with the twins, who by the way, I know turn uh, six on April yeah. 30th. Yeah, on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, so how did, how did Mariah react? Did she throw shoes at you? No, she took it, like, you gotta understand, we're real good friends. We're like the best of friends. She was happy for me, and the kids played all together and they visit, like, it's, it's all love. The moms get along? Yeah, it's that love frequency we talking about. Has it's Mariah just... ever met her? Oh, look, at that. look at your daughter with her. That's ha adorable. Has Mariah ever met her? No. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet, give but her, eventually. Give her five years. Yeah. This, this, you know, once you all get back together, you know, then, then Mar Mariah, you know, well. You speaking this into existence. Yeah, well, yes, yes. I see, I see. Yeah. I spoke the marriage into existence. I, it can happen. I feel like, um, I feel like um, she needs some stability in her life. That's what I'm here for. Regardless if we together or not, I'm gonna and always be that I don't that like stability. her manager, Stella. Why? And I think that, I think that her entourage is, is Why well, are you just gonna just hate on the team? It wouldn't be my first time. That's true. But we try, we, it's about love, it's about You positive. like her? I, yes, I do, actually, you know why? And I'm gonna tell you this, because I like 
uh, any strong, affirmative woman. And when you have two strong women together like Mariah and Stella, they can do some amazing things together as long as the focus is on point. Mm. And that's what it is. Like, I, I'm never going... You know what I mean? I'm never going to discredit a woman, especially a woman in this industry, because you know how hard it is for, you know, so whether you're in front of the camera, behind the camera, people take people's energy sometimes and they, they want to say it's negative, but it, it's assertive. It's a, did it's you a, watch the reality show? Did you think that was a good idea for her to do? I didn't. But see, again, from my understanding, it wasn't supposed to be a reality show. It was supposed to be a tour documentary, but then powers that be get involved and they start focusing on stuff like relationships and all that stuff. And it's, I, I wish they would have focused on the music a little bit more, so. so. But you know, that's, again, Mariah has to stick to her vision. Cause like I always say, people, Mariah manages Mariah. <clears throat> it don't matter who that other person is. She runs her business, she runs her career, and that's why she's the queen that she is. Mm. <laughs> the truth, Wendy, I speak nothing but the truth. Do you ever, do you ever sleep over the house? Yeah. I do. In close proximity to her room? <laughs> <laughs> Sleep in my kid's room. How do you feel? I know you have lupus, Nick. Yeah. How did you discover you had lupus? And how do you feel now? I feel amazing now. I mean, I feel like I got an order. I feel like, you know, uh, I have lupus. Lupus doesn't have me. Yeah. You know? um, I found out um, in 2012. And, and for many of you that don't know, it is an autoimmune condition mm -hmm. that is actually brought on by stress. And I never thought I was a person who was stressed out, but when you harbor things and you hold things in, uh, it can fester and turn into things. And, and, and it's where your immune system starts to attack your organs. Mm -hmm. So that stress feels like it's something wrong, and so it begins to attack. <clears throat> so, since then, I've just been in a real tranquil, peaceful place. You, like I mean, but you work a lot of jobs. I remember you were a radio DJ in the yeah, morning. Yeah. You know, now you no, you no longer have America's Got Talent, but right. I, you, you have your vlogcast that you're working on. Yeah, yeah. He runs a tight ship with that wilding out. It's been on for many, many years. Yeah. You really are not a lazy man. Oh, thank you. At all. <laughs> and, you know. Thank you. Um, why did you, what happened with America's Got Talent? Uh, honestly, uh, I love that job. I mean, I feel like it's one of the best shows on television, uh, but I feel like it was a situation where I was being an artist. I was speaking freely uh, in, in humor and satire. And, Doing comedy. Yeah, and it made some people uh, uncomfortable. A lot of the N-word, N-word, N-word. Comedy, Nick, you know, after midnight is different from... Absolutely, and it was just really, you know, I was uh, making an observation that they didn't agree with, and when you know, my art and my character's placed on the line. I gotta stand for something. How much, how much time did you have on your, on your um, contract? They, according to, did they fire you? Uh, honestly, did they fire you? Y'all wanna, wanna know the whole story? Or did, or did you walk away? Cause this that's $4.5 million a year you were making, they say. I, I, yeah, I was getting that cheddar. Uh, <laughs> No, but again, like, uh, there's no amount of money that is worth my dignity and my integrity. So, so you walked away? I, yeah. Um, I got a phone call, you know, the night before the special aired that, you know, that they were very unhappy and looking to terminate my services because of some of the things that I said. So right then, immediately, I took a stance. was like, I don't care. You know, like, they were saying, like, well, do you want to make a statement or you want to be compensated for the rest? I was like, no, See, tell them to keep their money, keep all of that, I'm good. And then they saw that they made a big that mistake, so they came back and said... <laughs> You know what? Cooler heads prevailed. Uh, we made. Wait a minute! Yeah. Wait a minute! That's what happened. How much time between the time that they that you quit? Or that I was told that I was being fired. Right. And yeah. how was it? A week? <laughs> that was a couple hours. And, and so, okay. And so, what they say? What they say? They, they. I, it was this big call with everybody on my team. Like, you know, we get, we're, we're preparing you for this. You know. And I was like, all right, I'm, I'm a man up. I'm gonna own up to it. I'm never gonna alter anything that I said. I'm gonna stand by everything that I said. And then I think once they talked to some higher powers, they were like, yeah, we, we rock with Nick. We saw, you know, we may not like what he said, right. but we're not gonna fire him over it. But by that time, it was too late. My, my integrity had already been challenged. Damn. So you walk away from $4.5 million paycheck, and now they hire um, Tyra Banks to take the job. Who I love. That's well, amazing I love Tyra, choice. but uh, Tyra is no Nick. And my choice happened to have been um, Marlon Wayans. Yeah, that's my guy I, I, too. I thought, I thought he would have been great. I think he would have too. But I also, I, I was thinking like, why couldn't they go with like Mario Lopez or somebody no! like- No! Why? I put his name, you and I think alike. And that's, uh, I said, and please don't hire Mario Lopez. He's too sterile and I love him. He, he's, <laughs> sterile? <laughs> like he's too, 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 um, he's too, 
safe. Like, you're fine, you're goofy. For God's sake, she got on glittery shoes and a, and a turban. turban. And no shirt. And no shirt. <laughs> so, do you, do you, did you reach out to Mel B? Did you know this guy, Steven? Uh, I did. He would, he would, uh, he'd be around quite a bit on set. And, you know, I, again, because Mel B was going through so much, so I just, you know, sent her love, sent her some flowers, just, you know, everything with her personal life and, her, you know, her passing of her father, you know, again, just sending good vibrations, yeah. prayers, and frequencies that way. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe the show is almost over and I'm getting it's, signs on the side that say move quickly and whatnot. It's almost over, I just got here! Look, all right, so now you have a new movie coming out and you're yeah. gonna put it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I sold it to YouTube. Yeah. It's called King of the Dance Hall. We got any dance hall Jamaican fans in the building? <laughs> to my Caribbean, West Indians. I love the culture, fell in love with the culture. Uh, it debuted at the Toronto Film Festival last year and I uh, got in business with YouTube and uh, now so the entire world will be able to see it, you know, the islands all, all the way to Antarctica. It's gonna be dance hall, boom. <laughs> By the way. And this is my outfit in the movie. I wear this the whole time. <laughs> Up next, everybody. We're gonna get even more personal with Nick. More? He's, he, he's gonna sit on our hot seat. Don't go far. Nick Cannon is such a good sport, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Shout out to all you celebrities. It's safe here at Wendy. Right, it, Nick? It's safe. It is safe, All yes. right, and now he's brave enough to take our hot seat. Oh. Come on, Nick, let's show him how it's done. Let's do it, I'm uh, with it. All right, here's your 40 degree question. With each question, the heat will in, uh, increase, okay? How, oh, okay. <laughs> Have you ever asked a celebrity out that's turned you down. I'm talking about not in 10, when you were 10 years old, but no. Uh, that's turned me down? Yes, like I don't wanna go out with you or no thank you. No. And this is I'll tell you why, because you gotta be strategic. First of all, you can't seem that thirsty. I mean, so I only like who like me, you know? Got you. <laughs> okay, we gotta move it along. All right, here is your 60 degree question. What's the most diva thing that you've ever seen Mariah do? Have twins. <laughs> she shut the whole hospital down. She, she shut them down? And when they was born, she made me play they, her music as they was coming out. <laughs> so it's true. It was a fantasy. They was dead. I, to fantasy. To fantasy. Here's your 80 degree question. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, you dated Chili from oh. TLC after Mariah. Who broke up with who and, and, and what happened? I was probably not ready to be in that situation because I still feel like I'm broken and have a lot to deal with. And she was so gracious to be an amazing friend, but oh, knew that I wasn't gotcha. really ready. All right, and one more. Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey are enemies. And we all know are this. They? Oh, yes. I didn't know that. Oh, yes. <laughs> but if you had a chance, would you hook up with Nicki anyway? <laughs> Okay, okay, hold up. So I got a question too. Is this pre the booty dropping or is this? <laughs> I'm just, this is a real question. Is this bubbly booty, Nikki, or is this after <laughs> after the booty drop? The booty drop. Oh nah, I can't do that then. You if it put the bubbly booty, if, if she go and get the get it fixed, you I'll, are I'll call me, Nikki. Such a fabulous co-host. <laughs> Thank you so much for braving our hot seat.